What we would like from you is your best proof that you live on a globe. Because if we live on a globe, it's 2025, you should be able to have one piece of evidence. So <clears throat> our position is that we live on a level topographical plane. We are physically enclosed. That's how we're breathing air. The globe violates many, many different natural laws. And it's like, how many laws does something need to violate before it's fake? Um, so it violates all the gas laws, the second law of thermodynamics, the first law of thermodynamics, Newton's third law, and a whole bunch of others. Um, but our position is that we're the center of creation. We have luminaries above us to tell time. They move all around Polaris, which, um, and we're the center of creation on a level topographical enclosed plane. Um, and to keep your interest, and I, the school probably won't allow this, but if any of you can give us a globe proof today, Email me privately outside of school grounds and you win three Bitcoins. What about the tide? Um, so we're told that the tides have to do with um, with the with the moon. But if we have if we go to tide, if you if you look at tides, um, when there is a new moon, when there's a new moon, a new moon is when the sun and the and the moon are close to each other. We don't see the moon, but it's still there. During a full moon, um, during a full moon, I'm trying, trying to pull up a graphic as we speak. During a full moon, we have a, a, a high tide, right? So here we have uh, the Earth is here. And no, is that the Earth? That's the moon. I'm sorry. There's the moon. And we have a high tide here. And there's also another high tide on the other side of the world because they're six hours apart. Six, 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 and six is 24 hours. So why is it when we have a full moon that we have higher high tides than when there's a new moon? Because when we have a new moon, the sun and the moon are both on the same side of the earth. And there should be a higher tide. And let me give you your official school taught explanation on why there's a high tide over here. The moon's gravity is pulling the water away from the earth, creating a bulge. And at the same time, it's pulling the earth away from the water on the other side, creating another bulge. And the reason that you're scratching your head is because that's a ridiculous statement, but that's what they want you to believe. And my, you know, my theme is you're not stupid. It's stupid. The stuff that they teach you is so stupid, but you believe it because it comes out of a book, right? How do you become a teacher? How, how do you get a, a degree? You memorize and regurgitate everything. You guys have spent 15 years in school, and what are you going to get? You're going to get a piece of paper that qualifies you to what?